Today, we celebrate one of the most important moments in modern chemistry. The 2025 Nobel Prize in Chemistry has been awarded to Omar Yagi, Susumu Kitagawa, and Richard Robson for their groundbreaking work in developing metal, organic frameworks, also known as MOFs. These revolutionary materials have transformed how scientists think about molecular structures and how chemistry can solve real-world challenges like water scarcity, pollution, and climate change. Omar Yagi's story begins far from the laboratories of the world's most prestigious universities. Born in Amman, Jordan, in 1965, he grew up in a modest household where basic resources like water and electricity were often limited. Those early experiences shaped his deep understanding of scarcity, a theme that would later define his entire scientific career. As a teenager, he moved to the United States to pursue education and opportunity, eventually earning degrees in chemistry and embarking on a research path that would change the world. Over the years, Omar Yagi became known as the founder of a new field called reticular chemistry. This branch of science focuses on building complex, stable, and porous structures by linking small molecular units together like a network or framework. These frameworks, made up of metal ions and organic linkers, form highly ordered crystalline materials that can trap, store, or separate other molecules within their vast internal spaces. This is the essence of metal, organic frameworks, or MOFs. To understand what makes MOFs so revolutionary, imagine a sponge at the molecular level, a solid that contains enormous empty space inside, where gases or liquids can enter and be held. Even a small amount of MOF can have a surface area larger than an entire football field. This means they can capture, store, or separate substances in ways that no other material can. By changing the type of metal or the organic linkers used, scientists can fine-tune MOFs for specific purposes, making them one of the most customizable and versatile materials ever created. The potential applications are vast. One of the most exciting uses of MOFs is in water harvesting. In extremely dry regions where humidity is low, traditional methods of collecting water from the air are ineffective. Yagi and his team developed MOF materials that can pull moisture from even the driest air and release clean, drinkable water using only sunlight. This technology has already been tested in desert environments and could one day provide sustainable water sources for people living in arid regions. Another promising application lies in carbon capture. Climate change has made it urgent to remove carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and industrial emissions. MOFs can selectively capture CO2 molecules while allowing other gases to pass through, making them ideal for filtering greenhouse gases from the air. This could become one of the most efficient tools for reducing emissions and combating global warming. MOFs also have uses in storing hydrogen and methane, essential for clean energy technologies. Because these frameworks can hold large amounts of gas in a compact form, they could make hydrogen fuel storage and transportation safer and more efficient. Additionally, MOFs are being used to clean up pollutants, remove harmful chemicals from the environment, and even catalyze chemical reactions inside their pores, acting like miniature chemical factories. Yagi's concept of reticular chemistry didn't just stop at MOFs. He went on to create a related class of materials called covalent organic frameworks, or COFs. These are similar structures made entirely of light elements like carbon, boron, and nitrogen, which are even more stable and lightweight. Together, MOFs and COFs have opened up a new frontier in material design, a world where chemists can build materials from the ground up, atom by atom, with properties precisely tailored to any task. The Nobel Committee recognized Yagi, Kitagawa, and Robson for their role in establishing the foundation of this entire field. Their work turned an abstract idea, the concept of building structures through strong bonds into a practical reality that can help address some of humanity's biggest challenges. What once seemed like science fiction has become a working technology 
with real-world applications. Beyond his discoveries, Omar Yagi's vision has always been about impact. He believes that science should serve humanity and that chemistry can play a vital role in solving the problems of sustainability, energy, and environment. His work on water-from-air devices inspired a generation of scientists and engineers to think differently about how to meet the needs of a growing global population. Yagi's achievements have earned him countless awards, but the Nobel Prize represents the ultimate recognition of decades of innovation, persistence, and imagination. His journey from a young student inspired by the scarcity of his childhood to one of the world's most influential chemists, shows what is possible when scientific curiosity meets human purpose. The 2025 Nobel Prize in Chemistry sends a clear message. The future of chemistry lies not just in understanding matter, but in designing it. Omar Yagi's discoveries show that with creativity and collaboration, Scientists can build entirely new materials that solve pressing global problems. It's a new era where chemistry is no longer limited to what nature provides. We can now construct new forms of matter that work for the planet and for people. In honoring Omar Yagi and his fellow laureates, the Nobel Committee also honors the idea that science can and should make life better. Their work with metal, organic frameworks is more than just chemistry. It's a blueprint for a sustainable future. These materials could help us capture carbon, clean the air, harvest water, and store energy, leading to a world where technology and nature coexist in balance. Omar Yagi's name will forever be linked with the vision of a world where no one suffers from lack of water, clean air, or resources. His Nobel Prize is not just a recognition of his scientific genius, but a celebration of human potential. Proof that with perseverance, imagination, and a desire to help others, science can truly change the world.